Once more, the passions over the vaccine rules packed the halls of the State House. Supporters like Kate Harold brought their children. I think it's really important to protect our small children. But opponents were right beside them, like Josiah Wilson worried about his own child. She stands to be kicked out of school and restricted from access to education. The bill would eliminate current exemptions to vaccine for religious or philosophical reasons, leaving only medical exemptions. In the debate, two Republican senators shared their own vaccine stories. My wife and I were parents of a two-month-old daughter who died 32 years ago, just 36 hours after receiving her first set of vaccination. My views of vaccines changed that day when my son Gabriel had a seizure after the DPT shot was administered. But two Democratic senators, both doctors, said vaccines save lives. As a society, we have become way too complacent about the scourge of deadly and preventable childhood diseases. LD-798 is an attempt in Maine to prevent a pending disaster. I was initially hesitant about this bill, but I think that the uh, way it has evolved is very good. It had evolved through amendments that relax some of the restrictions on medical exemptions, giving more leeway to doctors. Those arguments and others convinced the majority on a mostly party line vote. 20 senators haven't voted in the affirmative and 15 senators haven't voted in the negative. The motion ought to pass and amended prevails. But just minutes later, a big surprise. By a one vote margin, the Senate agreed to change the bill and restore the religious exemption. A blow to many supporters, but leaders of the opposition were happy. I absolutely can live with that. The bill will now go back to the House of Representatives, which has already rejected the religious exemption once. That means pressure will continue on lawmakers who say it has been more intense on this vaccine bill than just about any other issue they can remember. In Augusta, Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine.